community and yeah. like to commend you for that. Yeah, I'm trying. Um, hi everyone. I'm Ahmad. I also play this video game. Oh yeah, you're that uh, Palu guy. <laughs> that Palu guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I know you as. Mm -hmm. I like to um, know that I've established somewhat of a reputation. That Palu guy. Um, anyway, so it looks like we have V Lone Flex. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's the guy, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We will wait until the names pop up on the screen. And then trying to build my reputation as that guy who goes 0 and 2 Master and then commentates. And okay. Uh, what is that? Master Grass and Exo. That's oh, okay. Station 1. Master Grass? Yeah. Nice. I don't, I don't know. So we have Master Grass and Exo. Do you know anything about these two players? Do you have any um, experience against them? I don't, no. Okay, well, it looks like we will be in for something new. That's um, always good. Seeing randoms play. It's very snowy today. It's very snowy, very cold early on. So I'm really surprised to see that we got the turnout that we did. You know how many entrants we have today? It was like I think it was like around 50. I heard like maybe more. 50s. That's 50 really or good. more. I think it's really good for LFG. The attendance hasn't been quite at 50 the past few weeks, but this is. This is really good attendance with a lot of PR players, a lot of strong high-level players, too. Um, we got Blade, you know, our PR regulars, uh, Daybreak, Low One, Kepler, KSev, and we also have Hex, you know. High, we have a lot of ta Michigan oh, yeah. talent here today. I like that hoodie. We also, um, what was I about to say? forgot. There was a... This Lucas player on a rival esports team. He was like the best player on that school because we have a high school esports team. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a Lucas player, uh, David. <laughs> He's here. Is that his tag? Yeah. David. <laughs> oh, D A V E I D. D A V. -E. So I'm hoping to see him. Mm -hmm. Mainly just so I can mm -hmm. gather data. Gather data. <laughs> He's a rival school. A rival school. So, um, where do you guys go to school? Um, I go to Ferndale High. Ferndale High. Oh, that's cool. You, it's cool that you guys have like a seniors, um, whatnot. Yeah. I graduated um 2016, and you know, of course, Ultimate's not out then. But even yeah. in Smash Four, we didn't even we didn't really have established team um, teams or um, you know, what have you. But it's mm -hmm. really cool to see you know colleges offering scholarships now. Um, they're looking at these high school teams. We also have high score esports coming up in the scene, looking to sponsor someone else for Frostbite. So it's good to see that this game is really rife with opportunities. Yeah, definitely. Also, I'd like to just say, I, it really frustrates me that some people don't know about the circular scrolling in this game's menus. Hmm. Yeah. Circular just, scrolling. Like the yeah, like you know, you can go straight from Smash Attack and you just go down and it goes all the way up back to Tilt Attack. Or, like, just pressing up to go to the very bottom of the list of names to delete one. Oh, that's yeah. very good. That is some nice menu tech if you want to intimidate the person you're playing against. No, that's not to intimidate. It's just... It it saves time. I like that perspective. <laughs> so let's find out what these guys play. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot guys. I'm also a shoot guy. I don't shoot guys, though. Don't. That's good. I mean, depends for what reason. <laughs> and who hired you. Interesting how they rock, pit. I wonder if they're rock, paper, scissoring for character select or stage select, because they already picked a stage. I'm a bit confused. No, don't. I mean, uh, can't you, don't you just submit who you play first? Oh, they're, oh. Oh, no. So, and, thing, uh -uh. yeah, thing is with nest dittos and like competitive, it's like both cancerous and really entertaining at the same <laughs> time. Because like, yeah, because it's it's obviously nest, but also they have some tech, but it's still terrible. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? I think this matchup can be a battle of who's gonna get off stage first, and I don't oh, yeah, think it's that sure. easy for um Ness to get that side magnet when he's um edge guarding the other Ness, but we'll see how that turns out. That's yeah. the that's the interaction I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah, Ness is kind of an insane edge guarder, but he gets edge guarded really hard. So, mm -hmm. oh, that air dodge to ledge. We're gonna we're gonna look out for that later in a set. Maybe yeah, we'll that get air dodge is so long. Mm-hmm. Sure. Very long. Oh, nice and, stall. Uh, Bad, really ambitious punish, but he misses yeah. a little bit on that one. Didn't really take anything for it. 
And up tilt almost kills. I didn't know Magnet? that was. A, I didn't no. know that killed. <laughs> Ooh, nice oh, nice yo-yo catching yo -yo. that. Yep, catching that arm um, air dodge to ledge. Nice little fifty percent lead, but we'll see how. Oh, he's off stage. Metro and tries the magnet. Mm, that magnet catches catch off of it. Mm -hmm. uh, really tried to overextend on that bat there. Cute little thirty percent right there. Mm -hmm. Back up to forty, and mm -hmm. just kind of snowballing like Ness usually does. Exactly. Yeah. Nice extra I mean, credit. He's, Very. Because nice. he's not that good in. I mean, he's kind of good in neutral, but he's also really slow. But once he picks up advantage, it snowballs so hard. Precisely. Each mistake you make trying to land on him, trying to contest him in the air, it's a really hard character to fight back against sometimes. Yep. I'm going to get some of that HP back. Oh, just barely whiffs that back air. Now to shield. Air dodging back again. Um, he was in the air, so he's unable, unable to punish, but we're going to look out for that. Back throw to seal the stock. He's at 86%. PK flash. What? Hello. <laughs> No. Why do you just PK Sparks at what is zero? A little too late on the air. That's dash. like a disrespectful neutral tool. Mm hmm. Like we said before, the snowballing yeah. with the percent. 34 off of those two PK fires. Cute little air dodge. Yeah. Oh, misses the turnaround grab. Ooh, double back air. Looking like Mario. <laughs> well, speaking of Mario, there's been a bit of a stir lately on Twitter. Um, who's that? Zenodo gave Dark Wizzy a lot of credit. See, um, I don't know what to do in that interaction. Very about, brave uh, shield grab. Uh, about the PGR, that is? I'm or about the um, turnaround grab being a big oh. thing and one thing he's successful at. It's one thing I find myself um, stumbling over a lot still. Oh, I just got called. Hygiene? Yeah. Good luck? Yep. Have fun? etc. Even stocks. All right, so Hygiene is going to send off, and it's just going to be me here. Hi, guys. Um, forward air. PK fire. There's a lot of that going on. I wonder if that bat was a re um, attempt to reflect it. PK fire. PK thunder, but that's going to be punished. He's really got to watch that. That nest jump is really ambiguous, and he can, like, float in there. Hi there. So who do we have joining us right now? Hi, Aquatics. I know that was you, just for <laughs> mom at home. Mm. Um, a lot of nest stuff. A lot of buttons. A lot of uh, there. Yeah, as myself. you can see. Yep, yep. The noises. Ooh. Mm -hmm, maybe. Space. Yep. Nice spacing. Perhaps a little bit too much buttons. Who knows? But I will say that was a close game. So I'd say it's a mistake anyone can make. Last stock, last hit. Oh, absolutely. You no. Know. Yeah, no, th this character is a lot of buttons, and it's usually pretty safe, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, yep, that's the thing. It's buttons, but it's really safe. It's really close to his body. He can land with them. He can also mix up with that PSI the magnet. Tiring, very yeah. strong, very strong tools. Yep, so I didn't see the name of the player who won the first game. Um, so EXO was in this set. EXO did not win, if I remember correctly, okay. looking at the victory screen. I... We will find out the first well, guy's name. Maybe. Soon. It's not Al. All right, so white and red Ness is Exo. Potential character? Nope, we are sticking with it. Mm -hmm. Mid-set fist bump. Good manners. I like it. Always. Okay. Where do you take Ness at? Oh, so we have Mastergrass versus Exo. Thank you for a reminder. There um, we are. So the question, where do you take Ness against Ness? Um, and I guess the answer was Town and City for some reason. Um, I don't have too much insight on why that may have been the choice, but... To be able to just be a Tom for picking that jab block, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the way I look at it in Dittos, you kind of have to gauge where you're struggling in the matchup. It was actually, that it actually end up working out. But, uh, so if you feel like you're being too pressured, sometimes a lot of space is super useful. Mm. Where if you feel like you're not pressuring enough, sometimes you can shorten up the stage. And be like, okay, I can play that close game better. I certainly get that. So that's usually how I gauge it, but everyone's a little bit different. Ooh. I'm actually surprised that PK Magnet didn't absorb any of it. It picked up a little bit of percent there, and it actually served doubly, picking up a little percent and breaking him out of that landing <laughs> situation. <laughs> Very nice. Yep. Good parry, still just hit by the rest of the jab. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, as a Palo main, I'm always looking for that Nest double jump, so I'm wondering how um, Exo is going to adapt to that as he um, runs into the, um, more of those lead situations. Yeah, side in and like Nair is such a good stuffing tool for the double jump. I definitely would like to see that option. Even forward air didn't work. And I gotta admit, it must be a little bit frustrating Ness as Ness coming back with a lead when both of your buttons are just so buttony. Yeah. Like you really have to outplay the other guy to bring it back in this ditto. Ooh, by that up smash gonna anti air master grass. Mm -hmm. Keeping that stock lead. So it looks like Master Grass actually was the one to take that first game, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to realize that this is like a remarkable turnaround. Yes, I would say that. All the four airs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, me not being a Nest main, it just looks like buttons to me. That's it. That's all yeah, I can say it, about them. I mean, it's a lot of neutral and a lot of buttons, and like there, there's something to say. Like a lot of characters, you have to th use your space to threaten. But like with Ness, it's the fact that his buttons, he has so many mix-ups on it that like he is he can afford it more so, I feel. So like yeah, there's a lot of buttons, but the timing is a big mix up on it. Oh no uh, way dodge. He might be fine. Oh, uh, Lucas no. would have left Lucas. Could have oh. maybe wall bounce, but that would have been really close. Mm. One interaction I saw um Exo chasing Master Grass with PK Thunder, um Master Grass not realizing, uh, you know, your Ness, go ahead and absorb that, maybe get um, some free damage. And you know, with the ending lag, you wouldn't exactly be punished for Magneting, so maybe he can um, keep using, he, he can use that moving forward to yeah. um, help him in landing. Another thing, even though we're talking about how Luke, or sorry, not Luke, Ness has such good buttons to uh, like threaten, at the same time, doing nothing sometimes is so important as a mix up because you can usually catch people trying to adapt to you pressing a button and like punish them really hard or they're scared of like Ness is you know gonna near my block or whatever mm -hmm. so that very well might be the key to it just a simple dash back and apparently that switch is uh, Bowser hello <laughs> Bowser and Smashville taking him to a stage and a new character let's see what Bowser has to offer on Smashville and apparently that's down there hello yeah just anti aired that forward air perfectly and all this damage is that's racking nice, up yep he's going for it Early at B, maybe he was scared. Doesn't take too much for it, so that is perfectly okay. And he's off stage. Forward tilt is huge as far as I know in this matchup because uh, it's active for a really long time. And if you downward angle it, it oh, you oh no, precisely. Yep, Ness, you can't air dodge right. Um, like when he's trying to recover, you can't do that air dodge as reliably. Yep. Um, unfortunate dropping that stock like that. No punish. Oh, a little bit um hesitant on that punish. Jab, yep. jab, catching that spot dodge, a little hasty. PK Thunder going to save him. Back out stage you go, off stage you go. Oh, he's got a quite a big deficit. Maybe I'm looking for him to um, swing at that PK Thunder, maybe a little more with that oh. order. Shield break, hello. <laughs> got him. That happens. Yep. Nothing too fancy, just get him out of there. Might as well, right? But, yeah, important thing is uh, that, that downward angle four tilt actually hits Ness's up B and uh, his... Uh, Air dodge really, really well. Very nice. So on reaction, you can just <laughs> mm. hit him with it. So that's definitely something that might happen if uh, Master can get him into the corner more. Mm. But it's not looking mm. like that Yeah, that's situation. looking a little difficult when Ness controlling so much space and he's either pressured to jump or shield. And now he's in an edge guard nope. situation. This could be the sock. 95. Oh, PK Thunder. Bowser, you're a big boy. Yep. yep, he's having a lot of trouble getting back to stage. Yep, get up attack. Great, get exactly. Attack. Woo, that's a Magnet confirm. back here. Not enough, though. But that'll do. Mm, I was actually expecting that upbeat to armor through the thunder, but I guess not. No. Mm, looks like he wins. That was decisive mm. comparatively to the first game. Very decisive.